and welcome to day 10 of Vlogmas. So today's handmade garment is another Frankie t-shirt by Tilly and the Buttons, but I have, again, I've modified the neckline to have the Agnes neckline. So the fabrics I've used are a viscose jersey for the main body of the top, and I can't remember where I got this fabric from. I will see if I can find out and put it in the description bar down below. Um, it wasn't that long ago, so you might be able to get some. But I actually combined it with a cotton jersey for the arms, which actually worked quite well because the main body is the bit that needs to be drapey and the rest is quite tight around the arms, so that's fine. And it's quite illustrative of how the neckline looks a little bit different in a different fabric. I'd say that this looks a little bit lower um, than my other Frankie t-shirt. So I'll just give you a bit of a turn. You can see I've used the same fabric for the back and the front panel and I absolutely love these birds. So pretty. So now I'll show you what socks I've got on today. I know this isn't very festive but a few people have been asking me recently about how sharp different needles are compared to each other. I've put these in the sharpness order, <laughs> this side being the bluntest and this side being the sharpest. So here we've got a higher higher bamboo needle and obviously because it's wood they're never as sharp as the metal needles anyway so that's I think is the least sharp of these ones I've got to compare with. Then I've got a Nip Pro Zing, this is actually a DPN, and they're really nice because they're really nice colour, but I don't find that they're very sharp and they're quite variable as well, which I think um, is a bit of a pain, but they're all right for things you're not doing fine lace um, pattern work with, and I'll still use them, but they are a lot less sharp than the other metal needles. This one here is an Addy needle and that's really not that sharp at all and also I've noticed this set I've had for a couple of years but it's gone tarnished as well which I don't think is brilliant but there you go I've only got a couple of sets of Addy needles then next to these I have a Chow Goo needle and that's pretty sharp and actually I get on with that for most things but I do like my needles to be a little bit sharper Slightly sharper than the Chow Goo, or very comparable to the Chow Goo, is the Higher Higher Steel Needle, which is a little bit sharper. Um, some people who don't like sharp needles at all still find the steel needles a little bit on the sharp side. And then here we are, we have the Pièce de Résistance. <laughs> Excuse my French, that really didn't sound right at all. But anyway, this is my higher, higher sharp that I really like to use. So the sharps are always my favourite because they're really nice and pointy and any delicate lace I can really get in nice and close with. And I just love these. But if you don't like things being quite so sharp, then I'd go for something that's wooden. There are obviously other wooden needles, but I don't have any of those because I'm not a mega wooden needle fan because I like them to be nice and slidey because I knit so tightly. Um, but I'm sure that other wooden needles are comparable to the bamboo higher highers as well. They're all good in their own way, really. It just depends on whether you like them to be sharp or not. They are all 2.5 millimeter needles as a comparison, but the smaller the needle is, the sharper it tends to feel. So the larger needle sizes do feel slightly less sharp with the same needle type compared to the smaller sizes. So there we go, hope you find that useful.
making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. 'Cause I missed you so, I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you, baby. This year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh. Christmas memories. Oh oh, la da da da. Oh oh, la da da da. Oh oh, la da da da. Making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you. I've been hanging marbles in the tree, and I've lit my house with Christmas lights. So you should come back home to me. Singing all the melodies until the sun comes up. These are the good times with you, baby. This year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh. The tenth. Day ten. Oh, we're lent. And a little, well, half melted bear. Oh, is he melted? A bear. He's all right. Oh dear. Better eat him quick. Yep. Are you excited about your advent? I am. Day ten. Oh, it's Ron. Ah, oh, we've got a person. It's one one. Reunited! <laughs> We've got a cute little kitty today. What is it gonna be? We've got a lint. That's a salted caramel. Because I know my lint colours. Oh, and a normal milk chocolate one. Lovely. I had to definitely have my reaction in today because Joan said that she was very disappointed yesterday that you didn't see my excitement when I had my chocolates. <laughs> Christmas memories.